We're going to need this today, probably. Hopefully not. But, you know. Gotta bring the oh shit kit. My camera seems to be dying on me. And I might be dying later today. Because they live inside this hotel. For animals. Gotta make sure we got no... No friends in the doors. Yeah, looks like we're good on that front. So basically, today, we are taking the truck to do some truck stuff. About 120 miles of adventure, and uh, it's gonna be just a regular Ranger Road day, we hope. But you know, the thing about Rangers, this one, is that she's pretty rough around the edges. I mean, shoot, I can't even start it with the key most days. And this is one of them. I'm gonna show you how to get around that problem, though most of you guys know how to do this. But for those of you that don't know how to do this, if you got yourself an old vehicle like this, well first, the international sign of I'm in trouble. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're not in gear or you'll run yourself over. You wanna flip your ignition on. You want to find this guy, the O oh Steal Me box. Wow. A bunch of things came out of my truck. Wasps and mouse nests and everything. You guys are really quite unhappy. So, I got plenty of the truck's favorite diet. Hopefully we don't need to use it all up. I've got a little bit of a water pump leak on the back side in a typical spot that rangers leak. I haven't really gotten around to fixing it. All right, we're about less than two miles from uh, 240,000. And she is firing on all six, that's good. Hopefully we have a problem-free day so far. You know, having to start it with the screwdriver and my camera's operating system seems to be failing. Uh, you know, we're par for the course. That's two problems already. Not quite as satisfying as uh, 300,000 miles, but hey, we caught it. So like I was saying, we got a long distance to travel today with the truck. And uh, in order to dissuade from the chaos, I decided to bring the camera with. See, my theory is simple. As long as you have a camera filming, theoretically, nothing bad will happen. That's because whenever you don't have a camera, that's when bad stuff happens. My theory in the world is that life is governed by irony. So, you know, what's bad for me on the road is good for you guys, I know, because you guys are crazy. You guys are vultures. You love to watch people suffer, I know. Okay, I know, sometimes I am you guys. Sometimes I'm watching the other people suffer. Chaos is hilarious for the audience. It's not so hilarious for people in the show, okay? <laughs> but this is the theory. I bring the camera, and theoretically, because I have the camera ready to go, today will be boring. That's the theory. Sound crazy? It probably is, but that's what we're going by today, okay? That's what's governing today. The truck has a potential to overheat today because we have leaky seal issues between timing cover and water pump. It's pretty common for the 3.0 Ranger. And I would get around to fixing that, but the thing is, with this truck, it costs so damn much to move it around that I just can't bring myself to actually fix the problem. I'd rather feed it its favorite diet of highly enriched mineral water. When you build a pickup truck, you want to give it the gas consumption of a 1970s whale. When it comes to the power, six anemic hamsters. That's about what you want under the hood. So six anemic hamsters with the appetite of a whale. For economy's sake, Great gas mileage as long as you're dyslexic. So far she's motoring along pretty good. Nothing to report as of yet. That's a good thing. Relax 
relaxing back road adventure, isn't it? This is the part where my girlfriend joins us in the truck. So you can tell that uh, obviously the truck is so far roadworthy. Can't really see it. But unfortunately, it's dead. Good old trusty Canon Vixia 82 with its autofocus problems and its flippy screen that wore out. Good companion, but it is no more. You guys will now be getting the perspective of the wide angle because that's all I got. So, and my GoPro, of course, is limited on its battery honesty. So we'll see how well this goes. This is proof that your Ford can put up with just about anything. I'm gonna add our favorite mineral enriched water. It's good for me, good for the truck diet too. Yep, just full of all kinds of great things like alkalines and whatever else, you know. It's, helps you win a marathon. I'm not saying this is the way to take care of a truck, so take it easy. But when your truck's only worth $500, who gives a shit? And away we go! Unlicensed drink of no specific brand from no specific restaurant. I'm wondering if I got enough roll to avoid the old security trick, you know? Avoid my truck's security features. No. No way. Nope. We're gonna have to do the old uh, security startup features. It's a feature. You wanna eat, drink a pop. That's right, I said pop. And film all at the same time. Allegedly. Been doing pretty good on gas to be honest with you usually this truck is a pig but uh, that's about to change because I'm getting on the freeway so this is usually where she loses all of her miles per gallon <laughs> this engine is very much a uh, I'm good up to 3,500 RPM and that's about it. It's like a tractor. If it's gonna die, it's gonna die on I-5. We hit ourselves some traffic, which is no good. They're getting a little warm. Got the heater on full go, doing the Hank Hill thing here. I'm getting the slightest sound of squeak. And I'm pretty sure that's my water pump. Something tells me it might have to do with that uh, liquid orange diet I feed this thing. It's probably what it is. As long as we can see the level of temperature changing, we know we have coolant. Disney. Good sign. Don't mind me. I'm just feeding my truck its daily diet of mineral water. I don't even know if there's any coolant left in the system. My god. Yeah, you know, I see some puddle back there. Almost looks like my heater core. Well, that's coming down from the fender. Which suggests to me it all boiled out of the box. Yep. Yes, it did. Probably has a blown head gasket. Comforting. Very comforting. Let's go. There you go. Now for the fun part. Loading this animal. My truck is, you know, doing great. It'll be interesting if we uh, make it back home. This is what you want to see. This is, this is always a good sign. You want to be absolutely specific about what kind of water you use. High alkaline. Lots of minerals, you know. Not just any old tap water will do. <laughs> Sam's Gardens and Gifts. <laughs> Begonias. We're making off with a lifetime supply of viruses. And uh, some litmancy tests for them on I-5. <laughs> as well as for my truck. 
<laughs> two for two. She did okay. She really pigged out on the gas though on the freeway. Driving it home. Thank you for riding with Ford Ranger Lines. We're glad that we made it. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Ranger Lines. We're glad that your stuff made it. Yeah, there's something women like about a pickup man. <laughs> That's all we wrote. That's it. Take care.